Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Pretty view here in Salina. So right now, just a few clouds out there, but they've been coming and going most of the day. We ended up with a very mild afternoon. We've been that way most of the week. And look at the high temperatures this afternoon, mostly low to middle 70s, even for the valley locations. Hollister at 75, 72 Watsonville. Here in Salinas, 72. We did get an 80 in Carmel Valley, though, and some low 80s in the Salinas Valley. Middle and upper 70s, though, up in the Santa Cruz Mountains in Monterey, checked in with a 73. Inland valleys, not as hot as they've been. Still pretty warm, though. 90 in Sacramento, 96 in Fresno, 95 Bakersfield, 100 in Palm Springs. And, yeah, it takes a while to cool off the Central Valley in the summertime, so they're still in the middle 90s in Fresno and Bakersfield. Beautiful low 70s up there in Lake Tahoe, 87 in Vegas with some rain showers around in 98 in Palm Springs. Some monsoonal moisture coming up uh, from the deserts. You'll notice uh, some lightning strikes, uh, some thunderstorms out in Southern California, and then again, Lake Havasu, and then up towards Vegas, uh, parts of Arizona and New Mexico getting a little bit of moisture. Uh, the heat is mostly out west, from Denver to Salt Lake uh, to Portland, mostly 80s and 90s. Back east, a little cooler, mostly 60s and 70s. And not a whole lot of rain on the map. And that big front that we had yesterday, that's now pushed off the East Coast. A few showers over Florida. And again, this is the monsoonal moisture, which is coming. But it's not a big push. It's a more scattered variety. But hey, we'll take the rain out west any way we can get it. There's your area of low pressure still spinning off the coast. Been there all week long. Starting to weaken and high pressure to the north starting to kind of give it a little bit of a nudge. And that means it'll be moving out of the way just in time for the weekend. That means heat could be coming back for some of us. 77 Tahoe tomorrow, upper 80s in Sacramento, some low 90s in Fresno. So again, that's at about average high temperatures. They've been above average most of this month. 98 in Vegas, 103 in Palm Springs, 72 San Diego, 77 in Los Angeles, and more 60s and 70s locally here. Low clouds will reform later tonight. We'll get them at the coast. We might see a little bit of patchy mist and drizzle like we have been seeing. They'll work their way down the Salinas Valley tomorrow afternoon. Breeze gets going. You can see your arrows coming in from the west. That's a nice breeze of about 10 to 20, 25 miles an hour. So have a good sea breeze in the afternoon. That'll keep the coast obviously on the cooler side, but all in all still pretty nice. 51 to 56 overnight. Uh, again, that fog and mist and drizzle could be around four spots along the bay, mid 60s to low 70s for the valleys tomorrow, a gusty ocean breeze in the afternoon, otherwise a pleasant day on tap. Mid 70s, right around 80 for some of the warmer spots tomorrow. So again, inland valleys running at average or below. So that's a good thing in terms of fire danger for now. 67 San Francisco, 78 San Jose. Here are your high temperatures, Santa Cruz Mountains, middle upper 70s to near 80, low 70s Santa Cruz, Aptos at about 71. Wattsville checking in with about 70, 74 Coralitas, upper 70s, Santa Clara Valley, 74 in Hollister, 75 San Juan Batista. Moss Landing in the middle 60s. We will have sunshine at the coast in the afternoon, though, so that's good. Upper 60s, Salinas, middle 70s, Gonzales, and then some 80s from King City down to Parkfield, Bradley, Lake Nacimento, all in the low to mid 80s. Mid 60s, Seaside, low 70s, Monterey, about 68 in PG and a pair of 7s in Carmel Valley tomorrow afternoon. So we will see warming conditions. Now the coast will be tempered by the marine layer. We will have sunshine. We'll also have upper 60s to upper 70s going through the week and basically into next week. But the valleys, that's a different story. You'll notice that big jump from Thursday and Friday being in the mid 70s to low 80s. And then look at Saturday and Sunday. All of a sudden the 80s to low to mid 90s come back. There's still a bit of a question mark whether it will be 95 to 98 in a few spots, maybe pushing 100 in a couple of areas. But right now it looks like kind of a typical sort of warm summer, sort of some heat coming, but not a major heat wave, not as hot as certainly what we were doing last week when spots were in the 108, 109 right. range. Right. We're not talking about that, but you know, after being in the 70s for a week, 95 will feel pretty warm. Yeah. Yeah. So get ready for that. At least it will be coming on the weekend. Okay. okay. Yeah, take a look at our weather quiz. All right. Soil moisture can affect daytime high temperatures. True well, or false? it would seem so, yes. Well, it certainly makes it feel, you know. Yes. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, it can actually. So the, so the drier we are, which we're pretty darn dry, you know, this year. Right. When those, when those big heat domes come over us, we're actually able to get hotter because there's no moisture really in the, in the ground for that sun and all that heat to evaporate, right. which, is a, which is what we call an endothermic reaction. I don't want to get too sciencey here, but that involves <laughs> the removal of heat from the atmosphere. And we don't have that. You just add that heat into the atmosphere and you get extra hot temperatures like we just had, 108, 109. It's going to even feel maybe, hotter. Yeah, if we had had a lot of, you know, if we were down in Louisiana, they might have only been able to do 
100 out of that same dome of warm air. Yeah, we'd like to vacate the exothermal. Yeah. Uh, very good. Thank <laughs> you, sir. You're welcome.